Josh the Goods Woods. Oh, hey, what's up? What's yes. Up? Good to see you again, man. We're not far from Coral Springs, we're Josh. Not, dude, That's we're right. home. We're hometown. Home. Boca yeah, Raton. Bo <laughs> Boca Raton Championship Wrestling. How did you get involved with BRCW and come down? And what did you think the show being here close to Coral Springs? Ah, man, anytime I can wrestle you know, in the hometown is awesome, man. Get to see family and some friends. And uh, this being the first show, it was awesome. It ran really well, it was smooth. Uh, man, like, so I train with Gang Grow a lot when I come home and visit family. And uh, they, he linked me up with these guys here. And uh, it was great, man. I just, they reached out and I was available, fortunately. And then uh, we planned it out a couple, a couple weeks ago. And here we are. You had the family and friends here, so what is that like? And just uh, how proud are they of what you're able to accomplish uh, man, so far? Like, uh, dude, from wrestling in college to MMA, man, I've had a lot of support in my circle. So uh, and now into pro wrestling, it's always great to have uh, family here and uh, the friends. So it's cool. My, my mom's always freaking out. She's like, "Oh my God, are you okay?" I'm like, "Yes, I'm fine. I'm all right." I'm like, "Ah!" So so it's cool to have my mom here, especially. So I like that. That is so great. And hey, talk about your match. You guys had a really good match, you and Steve. So yeah. what can you say about Steve as an opponent oh, and just man, the match? Yeah, just uh, as as just an individual, Steve is great. Uh, we were in NXT together, so. That was really cool to kind of be on equal terms now because when I was there, uh, he was like way above me and then I got to learn a lot from him. So, so for me, this was more of like a, uh, man, like a, I, I thought we were more on equal terms now. So I really enjoyed it and I, I was, I was like super excited to have this match because Steve is great, man. He's awesome. And uh, being in the ring with him has been something I've wanted to do for a long time. Someone else who's really elevated and is great is Josh the Goods Woods and that ring of hate, that ring of honor, there you go, that's right, that's right, that ring of honor experience. Tell me how important that was to the development of what we're seeing today. Uh, I mean, every, every step is kind of what leads you to the path, you know, and being at Ring of Honor for the past four years and then now going forward when AEW does kick off the Ring of Honor schedule, I'll be with that. So, uh, man, like the, the amount of experience I gained from like wrestling with those guys is, just, is, is incredible. Uh, guys like Jay Lethal sharing a locker room with Jay and I trained with him for the past couple of years and the Briscoes especially, you just there's a wealth of knowledge from everybody in that locker room and, and when I first got there I was very intimidated. I, I felt like I always had to elevate myself and, and eventually I made it to the top and I became the Ring of Honor Pure Champion. So uh, I think it paid I think it paid off, you know, all the hard work paid off and it was it was, it was awesome man. I, I can't even express how great Ring of Honor was. What was will and will be. What was that match like? What was that moment like winning the pure Championship. Any time I've wrestled, oh man, I wrestled Gresham so many times throughout my career in Ring of Honor, and, and uh, just being in the ring with John is just an experience in itself. No matter if it's in a tag match or just in singles or for pure, uh, learning from Gresham is incredible. And anyone who gets to wrestle John is going to come out better. And I got to wrestle John a lot of times, so it helped, <laughs> it helped me so much. Uh, just that was a great moment for me. Uh, Especially that was uh, the first match I had after my father had died, and my dad was uh, going to be at that match. So uh, that was a lot. That was that was a real. It was pretty hard, uh, and uh, kind of kind of did that. I mean, had that moment for him, and and uh, it was cool. He would have been super proud, and I know I know that. So, Mix of emotions. Yeah, it's with, a lot. With, man, right, that and all to deal with that. Yeah, yeah, to do so. that and all, and and Josh, you've trained others as well or you've done clinics and training little, sessions yeah. you have what do you enjoy about that process of it giving back so to speak man uh just from every stage of my career from wrestling and when i was a kid to, to college to now i think you can learn something from everybody and even when i'm teaching seminars or teaching my students uh i can always learn and i think if you ever get to that level and you stop learning i think you should be done because uh, we're always learning the game is always evolving as cliche as that sounds but uh, I think just being a part of that aspect and like learning even from, from guys that are just starting out and how their minds think is different than mine. So if I can learn something from someone or they can learn one thing from me, I think it's worth it. And I, I just love teaching because I had great teachers growing up and, and good coaches and that kind of helped me get to where I'm at. As of today, are you teaching amateur wrestling and pro wrestling? Uh, I haven't done as much amateur wrestling recently. Uh, my buddy Chuck is about to open up an MMA school by my house and I'll be transitioning over to that. I wanted to get into high school when I, I just moved to Tampa, so I was trying to figure out how to make that work with uh, everything, and I'll probably get more into that towards summer because I miss, I miss doing amateur wrestling a lot. There's good high school wrestling in that Tampa area, yeah. too. I know that with a state tournament wrestling. and all yep. that they had in Lakeland and everything. You, mm -hmm. Tampa, Orlando's good area, some good yep. wrestling down here in South Florida as well. Yeah, oh, man, wrestling is it's, it's great, man. It's all over. So what do you have, anything coming up for you, anything that you can talk about that might be coming up for you, or just going out there and wrestling different shows and Man, getting ready for Ring of Honor? I feel like I'm doing so much stuff. I know next week I'm at PPW, and then I'm at uh, 
I don't know if it's turn is it terminus? I'd have to look. But Gresham's running another show, so I'm wrestling there next weekend as well. I think it's under the Terminus brand. I'd have to I'd have to look. Up in Georgia? Yeah. Yeah. I think it is under the Terminus brand. So that uh, How's he doing? Run I know it's new. Yeah. Him and, and there's uh who else is with him? There's another Georgia yeah, I don't guy. I don't even know. There is someone else, the Georgia guy that's done some work with AEW. Baron, Baron Black. That thank you very much. That's exactly who it is, because I talked to Baron about this. Yeah, so I, I should have remembered. But you it never was... know who does what, right? Like you hear <laughs> stuff but you're like, oh, is that the right thing? So I don't I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited, man, and uh I feel like I'm, I I'm, I'm old school. I write all my stuff down like in a notebook, so I don't like look on my phone for that. That is old all, school. That's my thing, yeah, thing yeah, right I there. Like, write it down. You know, and I can drop my notes down like, oh, I'm doing this and that. So I really have to look. But yeah, I'm gone a lot. So it's it's been good. Uh, it's been good. Yeah, you've been able to keep a busy schedule I'm not and sure all. What I can't talk about. I did. Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll wait. I'll you wait. wait the, exactly. That. You wait until yeah. things are finalized for yeah. you. That's why I'm uh, yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll I always that. say that because we'll you don't want to jinx on. anything. Exactly. You don't want to jinx anything and ruin yeah. it. So sign some stuff, waiting for it to get approved. So we'll see what happens. Social media for you, for your fans. Uh, for anyone who wants to follow, it's Woods is the Goods. That's on Instagram and Twitter. I'm uh, pretty responsive, man, so I like, I like to interact with everybody. So if you have a question or something, feel free to hey, send it. Last question for you. All right, let's hear it. Woods is the goods. Yes, absolutely. All right. Who came up with that? Ah, oh, man. Oh, dude. <laughs> so, like, when I started MMA, I was, uh, I was just kind of, like, goofing around. And uh, I think my, one of my coaches just, like, said it to me in, like, jest. And I was like, oh, all right, all right. We can go with that. All right, all right. Would you do any MMA fighting if that opportunity comes up? Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't really have a passion for it as much yeah. as I used to, so um, I probably wouldn't. All pro wrestling for Josh, the goods. Woods! Yes! Thank you, Josh. Thanks, Jim. You're the man, dude.